Okay, so I'm really giving this a go. Problem is, zero experience puts me at the bottom of the path. So if I'm going to stand a chance here, my work needs to at least look the part. And that means an upgrade. Let's lay the foundation first. A new camera. Mirrorless made the most sense because it's smaller and it's more lightweight than a DSLR. And Sony's reputation for its fast autofocus made this the obvious choice for a rookie like me. The 6300 was a great starting point for 4K, but its lack of IBIS made even the simplest shots shaky without a gimbal, and its screen dimming made it impossible to frame shots outside in bright sunlight. The solution was Sony's new A6600. Adding a drone to the arsenal would give me access to the type of shots I'd always dreamed of getting. DJI is the clear market leader in this arena, and their new Mavic Air 2 was an absolute game changer for affordable 4K drones. Now, onto the lenses. I needed a good all-rounder that I could use in almost any situation. The 18 to 105 f4 was the prevailing winner here. However, I needed more bokeh on the wider end. The Sigma 16 and Sigma 30 allowed me to nail a shallow depth of field in pretty much every type of shot I would need. The gimbal was an easy compromise. I didn't need the fancy features or the gimmicks. I just needed a stick that would properly balance my camera for tracking shots. Maintaining that shallow depth of field in bright sunlight was vital, so I needed a set of strong ND filters. Variable NDs would be the easiest to use, but these typically introduce colour casting and vignetting. Luckily, Freewell offers some of the highest quality glass with minimal colour casting and vignetting at a reasonable price. This was the last piece of the puzzle.